thirsty? No. I hate to break up this romance, but I'm parked in a red zone. No offense. Arnold Schwarzenegger has become a symbol of American values since emigrating from Austria, a symbol of strength, success, and solidity. And red heat here, Schwarzenegger's larger-than-life image comes in for a lot of teasing from the irrepressible Jim Belushi. For the champion weightlifter, movie star, real estate mogul, and fine art collector, that was fine if director Walter Hill wanted it. I met with Arnold in Los Angeles and asked how he liked having the opportunity at last to work with the veteran director. I have, for 10 years, wanted to work with Walter Hill, number one. Walter Hill is one of the, the greatest directors around. He's a great, great writer, and he really understands how to work with actors. And I saw this in his previous films. So I've been bugging him for 10 years to do a film with me. You came into our society, tremendous success. You knew what it was like to be a foreigner, a stranger in a strange land, if you like. When you were playing this role, this, this Moscow cop, could, did that make it easier for you to identify with what he might be going through? I think it helped uh, a, a little bit, but I think the, the main thing that uh, really helped me was watching uh, films, or films, Russian films, American films about Russia uh, and, and all those things. I remember there was one old film with Greta Garbo uh, that was done many, many years ago called Ninachka. Yes. And uh, I watched that film, yeah, I watched that film over and over again. And Walter always supplied me with the material to read and, and, and so on. And then working on the, on the Russian language and learning the lines in Russian and stuff like that, that helped a lot. So that's really what formed the whole character that I played, is that combination of research. And that's what you have to do if you really want to be good in the film. You have to do as much research as possible always and study the language and the culture a little bit and so on. And I think that's what make it, make it, uh, make it work. You're this giant image in so many ways. It's so solid and so successful. And it's fun to watch Belushi just bouncing off of you all over the place. You kind of enjoy it too, I have the feeling. Oh, we had such a great time because this is basically what creates that comedy is, is that he is all bubbly and talking and talking. Yes. He's very good in improvising and you have to be very, very concentrated at all times because every line would start differently <laughs> and every, it would stop in a different place all the time and he would throw things at you that you have never heard before. And, you know, and then you have to kind of really concentrate because sometimes you start you have the feeling like almost to crack up because yeah, he's course. he's so full of energy last thought we're, we're in an election year here it make you think a little bit more about our own presidential elections the future what we're going through right now the only thing i can hope is that whoever gets in into office and becomes our president uh, will continue that theme of working together with the soviets because we will save so much money in military spending the Soviets will save money, we will save money, and we can put it into social uh, programs and into uh, businesses and rebuilding the highways, freeways, bridges, or whatever has to be rebuilt. And with all of your activities, a lot of it's going to come your way, Arnie. Well, I hope so. You know? <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> things are going pretty well. I can't complain. I, and we thank you very much for your time. Thank you. With Arnold Schwarzenegger in Los Angeles, I'm Patrick Stoner. What, do you retire your uniform? I now work undercover. Undercover? You look like Gumby.